Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, February 13th, 2021. Week 115. All right. <laughs> He's got his job back. Yes. <laughs> it is a rare occasion that I actually have a Saturday off. Um, yeah, I got up about 7.45, so <laughs> got bad. jumped on the scale, got my way in and everything, for better or worse. Uh, went down and rode the bike, was doing some other stuff around the house. We lost power today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, always fun stuff. And then uh, Stacy got to sleep in a little. I did. I took a muscle relaxer and some ibuprofen last night. I've been pretty sore with my shoulder. And uh, that was all she wrote. Yeah. You woke up a little after 11? Yeah. But that's good, though. You got some rest. It felt wonderful to get some rest. And you needed it. Yeah. Today I'm in old cozies um, from our Royal Caribbean cruising days, which has been forever. Um, <laughs> it was our... His mom, my mother-in-law's favorite uh, vacation was to cruise together. And tomorrow um, will be three years that she's been not with us. And, yeah, she uh, passed on Valentine's Day. So Yeah, I was able this week. I went down to Indiana to get my daughter from my sister's house. And uh, it was nice. I was able to visit the grave site. It was covered with snow, but I was there. I wasn't going to dig all the snow off. It was a couple inches. So it's been a... <sighs> Interesting week. Yeah. Well, hey, I guess we should get into some weights. Yes. Last week I was 337 and that was up and I wasn't happy. And I'll be honest with you, keto has been at the lower end of my priorities. We've had a lot of things going on personally as well as uh, within our family and our, you know, not excuses, but just a lot going on. So wasn't my main priority every day. What exactly am I eating? Did I go crazy off course? No. Did I overeat? Yeah. Did I eat too late, too early, and not within windows like I normally do? Yeah. Did I pay the price for it? Absolutely. So if anything, I've learned I need to get back into focus and into and onto the plan that I was following that's got me where I am today. Um, just, I guess, a learning experience. Today's weight was 337.8. So I'm up 0.8. So this week I did not come back down. I actually went up just to hear more. And, uh, you know, I'm not real happy with myself, but at the same time, didn't blow it and go eat a big old plate of nachos or nothing. <laughs> I just got to get back in the routine of sleeping and yeah. eating within the windows like I was. Uh, I was using like a 16-8 and I've not been doing that at all. Right. Um, we've, we've had crazy days, crazy nights. There are nights we're still up till one, two in the morning trying to figure some things out, you know, trying to pay bills and meet obligations and things of that nature. So my focus has been off, yeah. but I'm trying to refocus, recalibrate. Recalibrate. So where are you at? <laughs> well, I did not do well this week, um, but I'll be honest with you, I cheated. Okay. I went down to Indiana, like I said, to get my daughter. She was at my sister's house, and my sister got me a real eels pizza. And I have to say that um, I did not hold back. Um, <laughs> last week I weighed in at 139. This week I weighed in at 141.8. Oh, so that's a couple pounds up. Yes. 2.8, it says. Yes. I'm looking at the cheat sheet on the laptop. <laughs> so I, I don't have anything to say for myself other than I didn't hold back. And, you know, of course, our eating window was very weird. Um, our lives are very weird lately. <laughs> lives are very weird. Um, but it is part of the journey. You get your is. good and bad. It's like a stock chart. You see it go up, you see it go down, you see it go up, you see it go down. I'd like it to be going down more. I'd like it to be going down more, too. And we have especially. control over that. Yeah, and we do, and but you know what? It was just, I, I cheated, and I wasn't anything else. It was pizza. It was a lot of pizza. Um, well, so you think yeah. that made a difference of 2.8 pounds, though? Did you no. eat like three quarters of one large pizza? <laughs> kind of. I don't know what you ate. I ate a lot. It, yes. This is yes. the first time hearing of that, so I, I didn't realize you scarfed on pizza. Like scarfed, like. 2.8 pounds worth? No. No, I don't think it's all pizza, but it just, you know, I've not, and I've not been eating properly, you know. I'm still eating my salads and everything, but I'm not, I don't think I'm eating enough. So my body's like, hey, wait, we need to hang on to. Not really sure. 
Yeah. I don't know, but it, it is what it is, and um, I'll get rid of it. I know how to do it. I know what to need to do. Yeah. Get my nose to the grind. Use card manager. It works. <laughs> Look at me. How many pounds up in my the last two weeks? Three, four pounds? No, I do use card manager, though. Actually, card manager's changed a little bit. They've uh, updated their app, and everything looks and feels a little bit different. Do you like um, it? I do. I okay. use it every day. I use the free version. I don't pay for the $29 for the one-year thing. You and still won't let me do that for him. I still kind of want to do it in a way because you can group meals instead of individually putting the things. And I eat the same things all the time. So I could group my breakfast that I eat that's the same thing instead of putting five things in manually. Yeah. But, you know, I actually don't even find that hard to do, though. So Because yeah. I have a thing called My Foods within Carb Manager right. where I just go to My Foods and I click My Eggs and My Bacon or My Sausage. and It's super easy. Carry gold. Everything's in there. Yeah. And if it isn't in there, you can scan it. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Carb Manager is awesome. I like it a lot. They could send me a free version, I'd use it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, my sugars have not been the greatest this week. I've been in the 145 to 160 range. Uh, I'm not happy with that. I'd like it to be a little lower. Um, my ketones have been low. Uh, I've been using the, the breath meter, ketone meter, and I, I'm hitting the threshold of mild ketosis. Um, I'd like it to be higher. I think if my sugar can come down a little more, the ketones will naturally go up. That's what I've seen in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I am no longer on blood pressure medicine. Yay! And I'm reducing, I think it's in March I see the doctor again. I'm going to be reducing my statin, which is my Lipitor, which is for cholesterol. Uh, I used to be on 80, and I've been on 40 for a good nine months to a year now. And uh, the negotiation was that next um, blood work, if I could be under 200 for total cholesterol, we'll reduce it to 20. So crossing my fingers, doing my best, and um, hoping to be able to say that I can get down to 20 on that for next. And he's wanting me to stay on it for preventative for heart attacks and other issues. He said there's a lot of benefits to staying on the statin, which kind of surprised me. I was just wanting hmm. to get off all these medicines. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we're working on it. Um, have not even been inspired to cook or make recipes, much less our keto stuff, which I guess we need to start getting back into the routine of. Yes. Just spending an afternoon and making some fat heads and spending an afternoon making some chili up. You know what? I got I got to admit something here. Um, I made all that chili and something wasn't right. I kept saying there's one ingredient that's wrong. Stacy's right. It was the pork. And the only reason I knew it was the pork that I didn't think it was the pork, but there was a good sized chunk, like almost like a half a meatball sized chunk cuz I just kind of quickly cooked it up. Mm -hmm. And it was in the chili. And I was warming up and reheating some of that chili from the freezer. Long story short, uh, I found that little piece of meat and I had taken a, a bite of it, of just the meat, you know, from the chili. And I'm like, this is that taste that I didn't like. And it, and it ended up being the meat. You were right. I dismissed it immediately. I'm like, it's not the meat. It was the meat. He it's did. the pork. And here's the thing. I always do the mixes. Um, you know, the chili mix. I make it the homemade. Powder. Um, yeah, the powder so part. So the powder, yeah. So, so I, think I that's know fine. what was in it, and I was like, I'm telling you, it's it's the meat. It was a, because um, we use it for meatballs, which it's is a, fantastic, but it's like a, a breakfast, breakfast sausage. So it's got like some things in it, maybe sage, and I don't know exactly yeah. what's in it, but it, it's got a little zest to it if you're going to make it with a breakfast. Right. And um, I guess I just assumed it was just like mild Italian sausage or pork or something, and I'm like, it's not that meat. It was the meat, because when I had that bigger piece of it, and I took a bite of it and chewed that piece, I was like, that's the taste. Whatever it is, that that doesn't mix well with chili. Not that it's not good on its own. And it's wonderful in meatballs. It's great in meatballs, but it's not good in chili. Right. That mixture with the spices that are in the chili, yeah. there's a weird mix that I don't like. But you know what? That chili's really good, so I think I'll just, next time I do it, I'm going to omit those black beans the soybeans, yeah. and I think I'm going to just add ground beef, pure ground beef, instead of 
the pork the sausage. Mix, yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, it's always a work in progress. We're always tweaking and playing with our recipes. Um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm enjoying that chili out here. I mean, I go out there and I plow <laughs> snow and I'm freezing and I come in. I want something comfort foody, kind of, you know, warm and good for the belly. Just yeah. go, yep. The only thing I really miss is, is filling it with crackers. Oh, because that's what I used to. Do. He's a cracker guy for sure. Yeah, you even made me some like thin, kind of fat, heady kind of bread. Yeah, sort of crackers, and they weren't bad. Yeah, they had flaxseed on them and stuff. And yeah, it's not the same as like a saltine cracker, but of course, oh, but well. that's okay. Yeah, we tried a, a new bread this week, and a, and it's something I tend to not gravitate towards because of the net versus total carbs and stuff but it was the aunt millie's uh smart one carb bread yeah um taste wise very good um not really sure on the label part like it, is it like dirty keto is it lazy keto is it yeah. okay to have on a weekly basis i think for me i just got to get back into my main focus of my windows my sleeping you know, trying yeah. not to overeat from stress, to be honest. Yeah. And <laughs> Bill got, like that. tried that, we had me get that bread. He found it for me um, because I really miss sunny side up eggs, dipping eggs. Yeah. With toast. Yep. So it's nice to have that every now and again. Um, yeah. I don't know. So if you guys have used that bread before or know much about it, uh, leave us a comment in the section below. We also tried that, what is it, natural oven? No, we've had that. Nature oven. I know. We oh, also tried Naturals that oven. Naturals oven, I believe yeah. it's called, from um, Costco. Yeah. And that's a white bread. The only thing I don't like about that is the slices are too thick. They're very thick. If you were to try and make a sandwich with that, it'd be good for like French toast. Yeah. But for like making a sandwich, to me, that's too much bread. Yeah. Just one piece and fold it. I don't know if you guys were uh, poor as kids like us. Uh, if we had hot dogs, that's what we had, a piece of white bread. My kids would like revolt if they got a hot dog on a piece of bread. But put the piece of bread, hot dog, close it up, <laughs> that's your hot dog bun. Same stuff, different look. Yeah, but, kids yeah. nowadays have no idea. Nope, no idea. They're spoiled. Hey, if you had hot dog buns and hot dogs, or, you know, like toast. Life and, was good. That was a good day. That was a good week. <laughs> and macaroni and cheese. Yeah. We used to eat a lot of macaroni and cheese too. For sure. Don't do that anymore. No. Nope. Still do it for Julia, though. She yeah. enjoys her macaroni and cheese. She what does. did I make her yesterday that smelled so good? Oh, it was um, rice aroni. <laughs> it was like <laughs> chicken flavored rice aroni. Oh my gosh, I had to leave the room. Uh, She's like, Could you make this? I'm like, Yeah, sure, no problem. Wasn't even thinking, got the pot going, boiled the water, put the stuff in there and everything. Whew. Four or five minutes later, I had to leave the room. Uh, I couldn't sit out here. I'm sorry. It smelled too good. I was too tempted to want to just try and take a nibble. And then, of course, a nibble turns into a bite. And <laughs> Yeah, you can't do that. A bite can't turns that. into, oh, I need a bowl. And... No, nope, can't do that. No. Nope. Not for me. But she enjoyed it. Good. And that's what the goal was. That's what was. it was about. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to let you guys get going. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, I feel like I failed myself this week. But we're being week. honest. Yeah. It'll be... It'll be getting better. I, I don't know what I need to do. Reread some Dr. Fung. Watch some YouTube. I haven't even caught up on other channels to see how everybody's doing. Um, yeah. I think just the stress of everything going on in our lives, in our financial, personal lives, in the world. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things going on in the world, so I just need to be very thankful and fortunate of what we do have. Absolutely. Keep saying our prayers and uh, for others and for ourselves. Yeah. And uh, hope everybody's doing well, and I uh, hope you continue on your journey. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.